Compass Radial Surveys. So Compass Radial Surveying is a method of surveying using true bearings and lengths uh, to map out an area. So let's have a look at one. So it's going to start with a, a north direction and then we're going to have a, a bearing coming out here at 0, 4, 0 degrees. Then let's have another one coming out at 110 degrees. Another one at 220. Another one at 280. And one at 325. And we're going to have lengths, say 48 meters, 28 meters, 35 meters. 45 meters and 37 meters. And what this does, it maps out an area like so. We will join up all those ends and we can map out odd shaped areas using a compass radial survey like that. Now, we call this a radial arm. So that's your radial arm. We've got one, two, three, four, five of those, each with a length and a bearing. Now, the first one's easy to get. The first angle inside, that's just 40 degrees, because that's what our first bearing is. To get each subsequent angle inside, you just take the bearing on that radial arm, so this one and subtract the previous one. So 110 minus 40 is going to give us uh, 70 degrees for this one. Then we're going to do 220 minus 110 to give us 110 degrees in the middle here. Then we're going to do 280 minus 220 to give us 60. We're going to do 325 minus 280 to give us 45 degrees. And then the next one, you just got to subtract 360 because that's what completes the compass from uh, 325 to give us 35 degrees for that one. And from here, we can uh, answer um, any question they give us using, using either cos rule, sine rule, or area of a triangle because they use so. Just to be able to do that, we might just label a couple of these points, so A, B, C, D, and E. So we might get a question like, find the length of A, E. And we can do that using the cos rule. So remember our cos rule is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cos A. And we're using this triangle here, using this triangle here, with this being little a and this being big A, and these being B and C. It doesn't matter which we use for B and C. So B, so we'll have 37 squared plus 48 squared minus 2 times 37 times 48 times cos of A. Now A is the total angle here, because we're using this triangle here, and that's 35 plus 40 to give us 75 degrees. Putting all that in the calculator is going to give us 2,753.67 for A squared. And to get A, we just need to square root both sides. And A is going to be 52.5 .5 meters, correct to one decimal place. Now, so let's just label the middle O. And if I wanted to find the area of that triangle, I can use our area formula. So I can do area equals a half AB sine C. 
So our area is going to be a half. So remember, we, for our area, we need two sides and the included angle. So we're going to use these two sides and this being the included angle. So we're going to have half times 37 times 48 times sine of 75. And you put all that in your calculator, you're going to get 857.7 meters squared correct to one decimal place. And you can repeat this process for any outside edge that you need or any area of the triangle is in here. Thank you.